In this episode, we'll be visiting Apollo and the Nine Muses from 1580 at the Victoria and Albert Museum, London. Welcome to Art, Culture and Books with me, Anthony King. I film all the footage myself on location, ensuring that you get an up-close and personal view. Please consider donating via PayPal to keep the channel going. You can also join my Patreon for behind-the-scenes adventures. I'll be popping in and out with commentary as this video progresses, but for now, let's take a close-up look. Created in the late 16th century, Apollo and the Nine Muses is an oak panel that blends French mid-16th century carving styles. Despite its French influence, the piece is believed to have been crafted in England towards the close of the same century. Depicting Apollo and the Nine Muses, the artwork symbolizes the arts at large, making it suitable for an esteemed chamber in a grand residence. Commonly utilized as overmantles, these panels, in conjunction with the chimney piece, constituted the focal point of the room. Courtiers appreciated such mythical adornments, indicative of their education and grasp of symbolism. The V&A showcases this piece in a dimly lit, atmospheric setting, enhancing its impact. The theme of Apollo and the Nine Muses gained popularity in European art from 1530s onward. This carving aligns with the English craftsmanship of the 1580s, resembling the alabaster overmantle of Apollo and the Nine Muses in the library of Hardwick Hall, Derbyshire. The background's rocky landscape and ruins draw parallels to prints inspired by engravings like Hieronymus Cox, some outstanding monuments of ancient Roman ruins, published in Antwerp, Flanders in 1551 and widely accessible in England. In grand houses, music held a significant role, with musicians often on the owner's payroll, providing music for banquets, dances and chapel services. Proficiency in the lute or spinet was esteemed as a mark of refinement. Apollo is portrayed playing the lyre, while the nine muses handle various instruments including the recorder, lute, triangle and added later the oboe, which was invented in 1650. The museum notes that the panel once constituted part of the Temple of the Muses at the Grange, Hockcliffe, Bedfordshire. Its origin is traced to the Manor House Toddington, Bedfordshire, constructed in the 1570s and demolished in 1745. You've been joined today by Anthony King, but now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on Apollo and the Nine Muses from 1580 at the Victoria and Albert Museum? If you are able, please consider donating via PayPal to keep this channel going. I assure you that it is much appreciated and you will be directly contributing to spreading this wonderful art and culture to those who aren't able to see it in person. You can also join my patron for behind the scenes adventures and more exclusive content you won't find on YouTube. I also have many books you can purchase from my website. The links are all in my YouTube channel description and in the information box below every video. I also love to hear your thoughts and views, so please comment and share your perspective below.